Yakima's volunteer-run indoor ice rink has not been allowed to open under the governor's safe start plan and is struggling to make ends meet. Their financial situation is now even worse after someone broke into the ice rink over the weekend and stole thousands of dollars worth of tools and equipment. Cap KVU's Emily Goodell has the story. The small group of volunteers and hockey parents who run the Yakima Ice Rink have spent months struggling to keep up with expenses as they remain shut down due to COVID-19 restrictions. We do this for the love of the game and our children that skate. In the fall, a mechanical failure in their cooling tower set them back even further. Luckily, Central Washington Refrigeration stepped in to help. They had a repurposed one that he would donate and put in all the labor all electricians, everything for free. We're like, wow. Now, the week before Christmas, they're counting their losses. Volunteers came to the rink Monday excited to start building up the ice. I went and turned the lights on, and then it dawned on me like, oh boy. They smashed everything. They took every tool. They took the keys out of the Zamboni, the cash register, the microwave, the mirror of the ladies' bathroom. They broke all the hinges off the doors for some reason. They even had a box of uh, Christmas stockings they were going to steal. They're still taking stock of all that was taken, but the damages are estimated in the thousands. They've put up a GoFundMe page for the rink, which has raised more than $4,000. Moses Lake Hockey, um, their club donated $1,000, so that is, is phenomenal. Tools we can replace, doors we can replace. But one thing they, the thieves can't take from us is our will. The ice should be ready for skating in the next month, at which point they hope they'll be allowed to reopen. In Yakima, Emily Goodell, Cap Cave View, Local News.